body. And I, I'm one of those people, I don't like feeling like the person that knows the least in any situation. You know how that feels. You don't, you don't want to be that person that knows the least in the room. And I didn't want to be that way. I didn't want to be that way. Even when I'm talking to my doctors, I didn't want to be the person that is the least. So I have to know. And the doctors, they don't, I mean, and I don't want to sound like doctors are awful people. They just don't have time to sit with you and to tell you every facet of every situation and to give you the whole picture. They just don't have the time. They can't sit with every patient for four hours and talk about these things. And it's up to the patient on their own to do it themselves. Well, I think if you get your, what you should do, now, you can ignore me because a lot of people ignore what I think. You should have Corbin's picture put on your business cards and you should pass them out and say, would you like to have a healthy baby? Would you like to have a baby like this? <laughs> my dad, my dad tells me that Corbin is like my, the golden child and he's the, he's basically my my business card and I really do I no I'm uh, no I'm serious you should literally have his face printed on a business card <laughs> you so on my business card yes. he's just beautiful that's all he's just a beautiful and if boy. you had listened to the medical experts <laughs> right you would have done what uh, you've done everything they said you would have had a c-section probably when you didn't need it you would have and then, why? Yeah. You would have taken all kinds of drugs you didn't need, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I probably would have been induced. And then...